The question I get asked very often is real maintenance. Very simply, as far as multiplying reels go, you take your reel, tighten your drag. Basically what happens with the drag system is the compression washers push against the actual drag and seals the whole lot. It pushes it, of course increasing the actual um, drag washer. And now what happens is it stops any water from getting into it. Okay, so first thing, tighten your drag. Second thing, take lukewarm water with a little bit of soap, not too much, just a little bit of soap. Take your reel, pull the water over it, rub it with a, a damp cloth, your nylon, very important. Once you've washed it with soap water, take it and put it under the tap. Let the water run on the actual nylon, cleaning off any of the excess salt. Handle is another place that you end up with a lot of smell. You're, you're cleaning, you are filleting bait, chocker, sardines. You end up with a lot of smell in that on the actual handle. So take a cloth with a bit of soap and just rub it, clean it off, just to get any of that excess oil in that from your bait off. Um, the next thing is, once you've done that, rinse it under a tap, take a cloth, dry your reel off, loosen your drag, and place it in your cupboard, in your cupboard. Leave it for 24 hours, take it out, and then put it into your reel cover. What happens is, if you put it straight into your reel cover, all the moisture that's still on your reel gets trapped inside the cover and it basically exacerbates the problem with corrosion. Um, the moisture gets trapped inside and you have a lot of corrosion. So leave it for 24 hours in a dark, cool place before you actually put it away in your cover. Lubrication. Uh, ports or things to lubricate once it's been dried in that. Um, on most multipliers, very, very simple. Most of your handles have a little hole in the top there. You can squirt a little bit of oil into the handle. Always clean off the excess oil because you don't want it to get onto your bait when you're actually working. You can also drop a little drop of oil over here which just lubricates that area a bit. You have a lot of salt build up in your handle area. It doesn't matter what reel it is, you always end up with a bit of corrosion over there. Anywhere where water can sit is a place that you need to apply oil. So a place like your handle, where two different metals come together and there's a join, that's a definite place that you need to look at lubricating with a bit of oil. Obviously clean it off afterwards again. Normally there will be oil ports somewhere around the reel that you can lubricate um, your reel on most of them. It comes on the shaft, which will be this place here. You take that off. It's not the easiest to do. What happens is your shaft runs all the way through your spool. You normally have bearings in that area there. So take one or two drops of oil Drop it on top of your shaft, which is that little part there. Let it run down, turn it around a couple of times just to get the oil to work in. Take your cast control cap and just put it back on and you're pretty much good to go. With new technology that's coming forward every single year and Dawa throws a lot of R&D into oils and ways of lubricating reels, you do not need a lot of oil to lubricate your dowers these days, guys. Another unique feature that Dawa has been doing um, progressively over the last few years, especially in the multiplier range, is to put drainage ports in. So if you laid your reel down like that, there's little holes on the side over there which are called drainage ports, which allows the water, if left vertically, to drain out. And horizontally, like that, 
you'll see there's the drainage ports over there. So any water that might be inside it, uh, vertically will leak out and horizontally will leak out. Okay, just little unique features that Dawa come up with to prevent any corrosion or water sitting inside the reels. Easier for maintenance, maintenance purposes. Guys, you don't need to open your reels um, as often as you did in the old days. Uh, reels these days are made to last, especially our Dawa range. Um, maintenance once every six months really send it into your local tackle store ask them to give it a service and that's it it's not like before in the old days where we used to take the reel apart every time we go fishing put grease in it pack it back most of our reels these days are precision engineered low maintenance very important and Dower strive for that